thought that was a hell of a move. And I think what people want to hear about a lot is the drama that ensued towards <laughs> the end of the race. Yeah. Following the race with one Graham Rahal, Roman Groschins, Roman Grosjean. <laughs> Romains grows pants. Yeah. Grows pants. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we saw it. It was a, a lively reaction from Townsend Hinch, <laughs> Lee on the broadcast. Um, unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, we didn't get to see the instant reactions um, on the post-race coverage on mm. Peacock. But uh, what were your initial thoughts? What are your thoughts now about what happened between those two? Well, I think it, it has to start with Barber being a very difficult track to overtake on. Uh, it's a bike race track. It's not a track for cars. Mm -hmm. uh, it was designed for motorcycle racing um, because the guy, you know, the the Mr. Barber, I believe, or whatever, is a huge motorcycle guy. Obviously, there's an incredible motorcycle museum there. Uh, full, there's cars in there as well, but mainly motorcycles. Uh, and I also saw boat engines in there too, which was interesting. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I think it is... I saw a stat that there were some some passes, like there was like more passes than last year or something like that. But I just, I don't know where that was. Uh, I mean, I saw a couple moves. Um, but once, you know, once the cars get going, you really aren't, there's not a lot of overtaking at Barber without hitting someone. Like yeah. we saw Colton try to hit some kick, some some other guy and spun. Uh, there was a lot of contact between Grosjean and Graham. Uh, I watched Elio uh, absolutely maul Jimmy Johnson right in front of me. Um, just a lot of, you know, you, you have to do things there, um, that you probably wouldn't necessarily want to do at other places because you just, it's just so hard to pass. The straights are too short. Uh, you can't really generate a massive run on anyone. Um, and you're, you know, a lot of the times, you know, you're kind of busting your butt just to be in line with everyone else. And that was kind of a, uh, you know, that, that's what kind of brings it on. So, there was a lot of drama, obviously. Um, you know, Colton's deal, I thought, was really... Like, Colton had made some moves. I saw some of his moves on people, which uh, were great. Um, and I, I think the whole, you know, Grosjean on Ray Hall thing, that, that definitely was interesting. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if Roman really ever had that move. And then to just drive into the side of Graham, and then again, I, I, I'm not... I'm a little bit unsure of what – I still don't really know what happened there. But, I mean, I, I, I think I actually enjoyed Grosjean's interview after more so than Graham because, like, Graham didn't get taken out in that event. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. like Graham kept going and, like, held on to the position. So, like, I, if Graham would have got fenced and, like, thrown into the bushes, right. then I think, you know, that interview probably would have been a little bit more fair. Um, but yeah, I mean, Grosjean was trying to make a move, uh, made some contact. The secondary contact I'm, I'm confused about. Um, but to be fair, like late in a stint or even mid stint, you know, it, it was tough to put the power down out of five. Uh, that corner is difficult to get back to full power without a little bit of wheel spin. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe that happened. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it didn't look great for the 28 car. <laughs> like I'm like, it, it looked like yeah. Graham was just a, a punching bag essentially. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, I, again, I, I, I don't watch the races. I only see what appears on the Twitters and the Instagrams as like highlight clips and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so it, it was, you know, something that I, I, you love to see, like even it doesn't matter your opinion, as long as people are angry at each other after the race, that helps us. So I, yeah. it doesn't matter who's right or who's wrong. As long as people are actually, you know, honest and starting to throw, you know, some emotional comments at each other, I'm happy. Good for IndyCar because we need more of that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm watching NASCAR every weekend and there's fights and people are angry at each other. I'm, I'm watching people get spun out and there's there's people, there's there's rivalries that people are following because it's exciting. Um, you know, Corey LaJoy got hit by Daniel Suarez on, on Monday and that was because, you know, Suarez thought that Corey took him out to Coda and I was like, Oh, this is a whole story that I didn't even know about. You yeah. know what I mean? But I, but I'm locked in. You know what True I mean? True X so, and Chastain. True X and Chastain. A little bit of heat after that race. Right. So, so yeah. So I, I think that was good for our sport. Uh, there was some good racing out there. Um, but yeah, just Barbara is definitely one of my least favorite tracks. Um, just for just for racing. I think it's a great driving circuit, beautifully maintained, and we had an incredible crowd there. We appreciate everyone coming out there mm -hmm, that weekend. Mm -hmm. I mean, sold out Saturday, sold out Sunday. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what was going on on the, uh, on the old rivalry and, uh, the old contact between other cars side. 